Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a perform exception while using Espresso for UI testing. The viewer's question revolves around a specific error message that appears when trying to perform a back action in their app's testing routine. They have a simple app that loads a recycler view, clicks items, and navigates back, but after several iterations, they encounter an exception. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error you're encountering is a perform exception in Espresso, indicating that animations or transitions are enabled on your target device. To resolve this issue, you can disable animations on your device. Go to the developer options in your device settings and turn off window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. If disabling animations doesn't solve the problem, you can implement a retry mechanism in your test code. This allows the test to continue even if an exception occurs. Here's an example of how to modify your code. Use a loop to retry pressing back a few times before giving up. Finally, ensure that your UI is stable before performing actions. You can use Espresso's idling resources to wait for animations to complete. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this case, the user encountered an espresso error stating that animations or transitions are not enabled. However, this was not the actual issue. Upon reviewing the stack trace, they found a perform exception indicating that the action could not be performed because the target view was not scrollable. The user was attempting to scroll a linear layout, which cannot be scrolled. The takeaway? Always read through the stack trace for clues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the perform exception in Android Espresso, make sure the control you want to interact with is visible. A helpful tip is to use the scroll to method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user encountered an error stating that animations or transitions are enabled on the target device. However, the real issue was a null pointer exception in their UI code. Espresso was masking this error, leading to confusion. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The 
the user encountered a perform exception in Android Espresso. They discovered that the issue was due to the fragment attempting navigation without a defined nav graph in the test. The solution was to ensure the nav graph was properly defined when launching the fragment using launch fragment in container. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To avoid a perform exception in Android Espresso, make sure to scroll to the item before clicking it. First, scroll to the desired position in the Recycler view, then perform the click action. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.